Hi, my name is Ryan Cheek, and today I will be going over the two-string method in Java. Whenever it's possible, every class should provide a two-string method. The two-string method formats an object's data in a sensible way and returns a string. This is an example of a stock class, and as you can see at the very bottom, the two-string method that returns a string returns data of the stock object in the format of a string and it'll return the data at the current state of the object when you call the toString method. Here in stock demo there's an example of a stock class set up and as you can see the first call for print line is the explicit call. An explicit call means that the dot two string is actually used to call the toString method. In the second example the implicit call XYZ company object is passed to the print line method and Java automatically searches that object for a two string method and calls it. Example Write an employee class that holds the employee name, imp name, and the number of sales they have made, num sales. The employee class should include a constructor, accessor, and mutator methods for num sales and a two string method to display the employee's current state. The constructor should accept the new employee's name as an argument and initialize num sales to zero. Demonstrate this class in a separate program, employee demo. Alright, so here I have uh, my employee class, and for speed, I've already got most of it set up. I've got the string imp name to hold our employee name, and an integer num sales to hold, say, the number of sales that employee has made. I've got my constructor employee, which accepts in the string, which is going to be employee name. I set employee name equal to the parameter, and I will go ahead and initialize my num sales to zero. I've got a mutator and an accessor method for setting the num cells equal to a value and getting the num cells. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I want to add a two string method. And as I said before, the two string method basically returns the state of an object. And what that means is say you have three employee classes set up and you want to check and see where each employee is and how many sales they've made well you can call a two string method to return the employee and all their information and you can just kinda see where each employee is at that state so what we're going to do is we're going to do public string it's going to return a string we're going to call it two string no parameters okay so we're going to do return alright now First off, we're going to want to return the employee name. So we'll go ahead and do, I guess we'll keep it a name. All right. And then we'll do imp name. All right. So that'll return this string plus employee name. Plus, we we'll want to do a new line. We'll do number of sales plus num sales and then we'll go ahead and do a new line after that alright so basically your two string method is going to return a string of whatever information of that object you wish to see when you check the state of that object so say we had amount of sales which would be the amount in dollars of the sales they've made we could return that if we wanted to. We could return the number of years the employees worked for a company for instance, but for right now we'll just keep it at employee name and number of sales. And so I'm going to save that. I'm going to go over to my test employee class and uh, as you can see I've got it set up with my commenting at the top, Ryan Cheek uh, program test the employee class would have no input and the output will be the employees current state of what we set up. So uh, I've already got my class, my test employees, the same name as the file, and my main method. So I'm going to come in here and 
I'm going to set a new employee class, new imp equals new employee and we'll go ahead and just pass it my name okay so what we can do is we can come down and there are two ways we can call the two string method the first way is going to be explicitly and what that means is we're going to do new imp dot two string and we're going to actually include the two string as part the function call okay so now let's test this run uh, alright compiled fine now when I run it alright as you can see how we had it set up it went into my object new imp and returned the string which was comprised of my name and my number of sales and just to sh prove that my other methods kinda work we can do new imp dot set sales um, we'll go ahead and say I uh, lucked out and did five sales. All right, and that's actually set num sales. Make sure you get the method names right. So now when I print this out, it should print out Ryan Cheek and number of sales is five. So we'll recompile it, and and there you go, Ryan Cheek number of sales five. All right, now the second way we can call a two string method is implicitly. What that means is is if you just go ahead and have the object name new imp inside of the print line what it'll do is it'll automatically go into that object and search for a two string method so when we compile this and call it it did the exact same thing as when we used the explicit method and actually included the two string method name and printed out the employee status of at that time which is what we're looking for All right. In conclusion, the toString method is useful to display the current state of an object, returns a string that displays data as you desire for that object, can be called explicitly, meaning you include the dot toString extension for the print line, or implicitly, meaning you only pass the object name in print line, and Java goes in and finds the toString method and prints out the state of that object.